My son, Junior, stand up. Uh, yeah. He does all our social media, so all the stuff you've been seeing, that, that's him. A hundred mil, I need it. The glory, I need it. I took L's, but walked around like I was undefeated. You didn't know it was on the phone because you didn't lie. <laughs> you didn't want to be rude. That's rude. This man called me at 11.20 a.m. Say, said, can I come to your office? I said, come on. It is now, we went through from 11.20. It's 6.15 p.m. I have not seen this man. No one knows his location, where he's been. We got people lying for him in court. I don't understand what's going on with you. But this is what I'm saying. If you say you're going to be somewhere, make sure you be there. If you say yeah, my door is not, if you really want the answer, make sure I'm in there. Because I was in there the whole time. I have my door locked. I have my door closed for a reason. Me and Josh been going through shit all day. Trying to figure out what's going on with all. What we gonna do this play, we gonna do this play. I need some moose out time. So I sat in there, and we got to, you hit me at 11.25. I said, I'm gonna wait in here with the door closed, get my mind right. I'm gonna wait for Ari to come in here to get his extra work in. What time did I see you, Ari? 6.45 p.m. Man called me 11.20 a.m. So, Julius Pierce, you tell me, is he guilty or innocent? Now, understand this also. We are one unit. <laughs> okay? So whatever you decide for him, you decide for yourself. Guilty of what? That's a good question. <laughs> Guilty of lying, first of all. You're wasting my time. <laughs> the man told me at 11.25 a.m. he going to come to my office to get some extra work. It is now 6.15. I come down to see him. I got your receipts. He got receipts because he went to Uber. He took an Uber <laughs> to go to FedEx. He went to the bath. Had a shower, ate I ain't eating nothing. I was waiting on you. I started. Sitting there waiting on you because I thought you wanted I want you wanted some knots. That's what I did. And I didn't see you. So, am I wrong or he wrong? Coach, the jury is going in deliberation on this. Going in deliberation. Okay. Going in the deliberation on what? this. Jury, <laughs> I hear you. Until we finish. When we get ready to get out of here to come up with an innocent or guilty. Now I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, this ain't America. <laughs> this ain't America. This is more like a dictation. This judge don't rule the law. So if you say he innocent, understand, you would be punished with him. <laughs> if you say he's guilty, y'all are free. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't, I don't see how he's innocent. If he called me at 11 20 a.m., ask me, Coach, can I come to your office? I say, come on. Now come on at 6 15 p.m. Now come on after you take a shower. Now come on after you eat. Now come on after you go to FedEx and deliver your personal package while I'm waiting on you. I say come on, because I think he coming at 11.20. Not only did he not call me and say, hey, I'm coach, I'm late, but coach, can I come at a different time? I come down the stairs to the dining hall and see him in there, eating. <laughs> and he say, what's up, coach? Like that? Like that. <laughs> huh? Okay, so look, we figured we're getting this installed. Go on, didn't like set the mood for me back there, uh, guilty. Cause you, well, you see how many people you told on though? Lord, gee, don't y'all do no with him. I'm telling y'all, right go tell it. Oh, on camera. Oh, here. Stick. Eight ten. Eight ten. We almost said nine. Almost. I see you, Jimmy. Stone. Definitely stone. 408. 408? 408. What was that? 408. Mm -hmm.
knees. Boys around here, brother, dug through knees. It's another place. Southside the island. Out in the jungle, then go in and feed And I'm dropping on you. And I'm dropping on you. I ain't worried about you.